Welcome, welcome, and welcome. Thank you to everyone for joining the channel today. This is Audit Rewind. Here in this channel, I rewind and react to some pretty crazy auditing moments. This first part is from the channel Good Citizen, and we have him at a city impound lot for cars and vehicles that get towed away. I think that these people really, really don't feel comfortable with Good Citizen filming because the cops turn up real quick. And they try and tell Good Citizen that he is actually trespassing by filming from where he is stood, which is a bit weird. This is going to get very heated, guys. So grab yourselves a popcorn, grab yourselves a soda or some snacks or a drink. And uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look at this video and do some reaction. And by the way, before we start, please, everyone, if you haven't subscribed to Good Citizen, go do that now. I'll leave a link down below to his channel in the description box of my video. Right, let's begin. Say again? Well, who are you, sir? Security. Cause you got a gun, I make you security? Bro, I'm off security, you can't be that What's your name, sir? My name is Officer Moore. Officer Moore? Yes. So is this not public property? No. It, it belongs to the, to the city, right? Yeah, but you can't be down here recording. Well, why not? Why are you down here recording? It doesn't matter why I'm down here recording. Does it not belong, if it belongs to the you city. property here? Listen, are you, you gonna listen here? or are you gonna cut me off? Do you have property Are you gonna listen or cut me off? Do you have property here? Or are you gonna listen or you gonna cut me off? Can, ask, can you ask my question? You gonna answer mine? Look, bro. We not about to do this. Oh. We not about to do this. You ain't supposed to come out. We down here. We're supposed to stay up there. Are you law enforcement? I'm scared. Of okay, we'll call law enforcement. You want, what you want to call law enforcement for? Because, I mean, again, I have no business talking to you, right? Bro. You trying to tell me something that I know that I can't do. Why are you There's down? nothing stopping Why are you me from. Down? Why can't I be? You got property back here? Does it matter? Is this public That's property? Is this public property? It matters, man. Look, look, I'm not doing this with you. Well, call, call law enforcement. They already said you got to come back up there. Who is they? The supervisor. Who the supervisor? You got stuff back here? Who else? is the supervisor? Do you have anything back here? I mean, we don't need to call the police. Well, then you should leave and I won't call the police. But other than that, if you're not going to leave, we're calling the police. If you don't have business to take care of... What's your name, ma'am? Well, go and call law enforcement, man. There we go. Jeez. We'll wait so, for we'll wait for law enforcement. So you hit recording for what? Tell me what you hit for. Doesn't matter. You said you was gonna tell me. Tell me. Because I'll be, tell me. So tell because me. I have the right to. The right to for what though? Like you have a car back here or a vehicle or something back here that's yours or? That doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. What's the point of you coming down here recording for no reason? And if you don't have nothing back here, did they do anything wrong to you? What? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Did they do anything wrong to you? Oh, well, they they did because she called a law enforcement. That's that's the first thing. She didn't. Oh, I came down here minding my own business. I think that this guy that is confronting Good Citizen doesn't really have a clue what he's talking about. If Good Citizen is in a public access area and he is just on a public right of way piece of land, then why on earth would the security of this impound lot actually think that they can tell him what to do? It doesn't make any sense. Obviously, you have to remember, guys, there's security issues and maybe there are some threats when it comes to impound lots because there's always those crazy guys that have their cars taken from them and decide to lash out hence why this man probably has a sidearm and so does his supervisor they probably have had a fair share of uh, tense standoffs or arguments over the years but a guy holding a camera isn't the guy they should be doing that with it's really just a first amendment constitutional right free press as long as he's not you know somehow stood in the particular area if he's just out here i don't see an issue with that at all now let's keep watching because the police arrive and apparently things get even worse from then on out that's that's the first thing she didn't all i came down here minding my own business they mind their business i mind mine I, I'm, I have the, the right to come down here and record anything I like to see. But you're documenting something for no it reason. If you don't have nothing back here to come and get. There's no reason for you to be back here recording, man. But am I breaking the law? But you back here recording. There's people property are back you gonna, here. Are you going to answer my question? It's people property back here. Am I breaking the law? Let's start there. It's people property back here. Well, if you don't answer my question, then we cannot have it's a nice conversation. It's and all that you getting on the camera, man. You can't do that. You, you telling me you I'm can't do that? Yeah, actually, I can't. Because now other people's property isn't. So you telling me you're going to record and got all these people's license plates on there when you post it, whatever you about to do, post it on whatever, and people are going to see that. You, you have, have you noticed that every time I ask you a question, you don't answer it? Have you, have you noticed that? Look. Okay. Look. When you, when you want to answer my questions, can we can talk. I don't want to walk can up there. Walk I don't want to. 
So why you want to be right here? When you when you're willing to answer my question, I'll have what a conversation. You to what am I breaking the law? You look right. Okay. It's not about breaking the law. It's okay. about the fact you documenting something for no reason. I mean, I can document. I look at this plate. For no reason. I can read this zero Z four three seven one. I can I can read every oh, license plate out here. How old are you? How old are you? Right. Sir? It don't matter. How old are you? Sir? How old are you? Oh yeah. Advocates. That's okay. job. And you can go do yours. Go kick rocks, and go back and do your job. Up. You can walk up. You, why you want us to call the police? Just tell me just walk up. Unless you're getting something from the facility. This is the city of Baltimore property. Who, who, what's your name, sir? That doesn't matter. But what I'm saying okay. to you, and let me turn that around. Let me, what I'm saying to you is that you're really violating policy. What's the policy? You're no trespassing. We now have a new character unlocked. This other man has come over with his light blue top on and he is now trying to tell Good Citizen that he is violating policy and as a result that means he is trespassing on the property. This is complete nonsense. I don't seem to understand where they're getting this from. Good Citizen is just filming. He's taking some photos, taking some videos, and I think that the security are really getting annoyed with him now. So it's either in a minute they're about to call the cops or they already did because the cops are about to turn up any second. And you guys are going to see exactly what happens when they turn up because it does not go very well at all. And I'm not going to ruin it. I'm not going to tell you what happens, but get ready because you're going to be very, very shocked. So let's see what happens. Vehicle here. Doesn't matter. You said it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Okay. Okay. So just go ahead and continue doing what you're doing. Okay. okay. Hey boss, just so you remain Officer Devon, everything's been good in our report, alright? Officer Devon? Yeah. Okay. Right there, right? Badge number? It's right there as well. 3978. Okay, appreciate that. Thank you. No What's going on? Just so you just said they explain, you say that you're trespassing. It's posted as well, no trespassing. Do you have your ID with you? I do have to give you. I do have an ID. Have oh, I don't have it on me. I said no, I don't. You have your name, date of birth. I do, but I don't plan on giving it to you. Okay, so you do know what's going to happen if you don't provide any name, date of birth, according to the investigation here, right? What's going to happen? You can tell me. Possibly get arrested, right? Possibly get arrested for for what crime? Trespassing. It's posted. So those signs are referencing this. This is this not a public? Is this not public property? So is posted along the whole entire fence here. You right, that's go going there. inside the perimeter. But that's, okay. but that's for the okay. perimeter. So you can I actually? Go beyond the perimeter. I didn't go beyond the perimeter. I didn't go you, beyond. You are beyond. Uh, actually, you're beyond the premises once you come into the facility. There's no signs up there that says okay. no. So where's the trespass line at? Okay, okay. You're asking where the trespass line is. Yeah, where the trespass line is. Okay, at? we have it right here where you are right now, right? Right. Ah, right, it. right now where you are, sure. we have it. Mm -hmm. We have it up there also. I mean, it's not my duty to show you where trespassing signs are. My duty is to make you aware that you're trespassing. This is a city facility that if you're not taking care of business, that's why I asked you. Are you coming to get a vehicle? You said no. I asked you, are you making a complaint? Because you can do that too. You said no. There's no particular reason that you have explained why you're actually here. And like I said, you're recording and you get, look, everybody in the world records these days. So you got the right to do that, but you don't have the right to trespass. Okay. So that's how so, it's playing. So what, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm exercising my right to record that, that, in public. Listen, that's fine. All I'm saying, if this, them being a part of the city, this is public property. That, now, also have no trespassing. So, well, I'm asking, where does, where does the line lay of trespassing? Cause this is a, this, this is not a regular street. No, no, of course not. So this, where where is the is line? Not, this is not a street that regular vehicles come upon. This, as you see, city vehicles, contracted vehicles, can't any vehicle just come here? You're you're, you're be, they fall under the trespass. And where also. is the trespass line? Basically, oh. if you're not coming for business city official thing, business, you can only like the place where you can be right now is at the top of a lot. Totally. You can't go all the way down here. That's superseding their policy i think that this cop was a bit uh i don't even i don't know how to explain this it. like he doesn't really understand what he's doing does that make sense to you guys i get the vibes that he just like makes it up as he goes along because what good citizen was saying was a valid point 
he said that how can it be trespassing if the signs that are up are stating it's for inside the perimeter when he's not stood inside the perimeter. Then the security and the security supervisor stated that it's actually the road leading up to it as well. To which good citizen replied, but hang on, there's no signs down there at the beginning of the road that leads up to this. So if that's trespassing, why wouldn't you put the signs there instead of putting them up here on the fence itself? Something doesn't add up here, either they're making stuff up or they really have made a mistake with placing their signs in the wrong position. If it really was private property from that road leading up, then surely they would need to put the signs at the start of that road? It would. It just makes sense to me. And I think they were trying everything they could just to stop him from filming, an ID check, uh, you know, trying to tell him he's trespassing, then they tried to say he's breaking policy. There were three attempts at trying to get him to stop, and um, he just stayed strong, so respect a good citizen. Are we gonna be famous? Impact Media does these really cool kind of audits where he doesn't just audit police and public officials, but he also audits random people in public on high streets and in the city. This gets the funniest and craziest reactions I've ever seen. We get tons of Karens in these types of episodes and Impact Media is so good at dealing with them. I'm going to take a look at this video here where he interacts with a lady who at first tries to be like sarcastic with him and kind of intimidating to in my opinion and then she tries to like, ask him what he's doing, why he's filming. I think she doesn't feel comfortable being filmed or maybe she feels like threatened by him. So I wanted to give my opinions and let's take a look at why she happens here. I will leave a link down below to Impact Media as the channel. If you click the link in the description, you can hit subscribe on his channel if you haven't already. Are we going to be famous? What's that? Are we going to be famous? Uh, never know. <laughs> yeah, what's this for? We're just filming life as it happens. For what is this for? Ask me, what does it say? We're just filming life as it happens. Ask me any questions? Yep. Okay. For what? What is this for? We're just filming life as it happens. For what? We just disseminate our experience with the public to the public. Where? Uh, we don't share that part. Why not? We just don't share that part while we're working. Ask me any questions. Yes. Just don't answer them. I've answered <laughs> two out of three of your I questions. I know, but what's the beard for? So, uh, if you're out in public, you have no expectation of privacy, so you have to create it yourself. So I'm choosing to create my privacy today. For what purpose? What's your concern? So we just remind people you're being filmed out in public over 100 times a day when you leave your house, and that yeah. if you want to demand privacy, you have to create it yourself. So that's the purpose of your filming, is yes. to make a point? Yep. Okay, but you don't want to share where you're making this point, so what's its purpose of sharing We that? educate the public, but you know we have various websites and stuff, everything gets put on. Right, so you can't educate unless you tell me what it is, Absolutely right? can, because I just educated you a little bit, reminded you about how often we're being filmed. So but that's not part where of the, the website is. What's that? But not where the website is, There's right? There's hundreds of thousands of people that know where our website is. Yeah, and, and we'd like to know too, right? Yeah, we just don't share it while we're out working. So at the end of the day, if you're still out here and about, We'll happily share with you. Okay, what time will that be? Uh, we'll be here till about 6 p.m. 6 o'clock? Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll recognize you by your costume. Yes, <laughs> that too, that too. Hey, you have beautiful smile. What are we filming here? What are you? Filming everything. Why are you Our, coming outside? Uh, well, I am the manager of this okay. location, and we're actually not allowed to have anything filmed here. You're incorrect. Uh, well, if you show any signage of ours, you're incorrect. That's you're incorrect. I, I don't. That'd be like that. telling me I'm on a public sidewalk okay, and I sure. can't look at your signs. I'm, I'm not trying to, uh, guys. I'm not like. Then don't come out giving no, orders that make no. sense. This first interaction, in my opinion, wasn't as bad as I actually thought it was going to be. I think initially the lady did feel a bit confused why they were filming. Overall, I wouldn't really say it was a bad interaction, though, and I think they parted on good terms. The lady kept asking questions but Impact Media refused to answer because he doesn't have, he's not obliged to answer her questions, he's not under arrest and she, as far as we're aware, is not a law enforcement officer. So, what you have to remember guys, is that uh, just parting on equal terms like this isn't necessarily a bad thing in an audit. Now we've got another guy that we've just seen a snippet of and he seems to be a lot more triggered than this lady was and he is coming out of his workshop and he is very very angry in my opinion because maybe he feels like impact media is doing uh some kind of uh filming because he wants to annoy the guy or maybe he got bad service at his store i don't know let's see what happens let's see what the man has to say when he comes out 
orders that make no sense. No, I'm not giving okay. you, you absolutely did. You said I'm not allowed, not allowed, not allowed. Can I, ask a question? Can I film that way? You can film whatever way you want. Can I, I can film that way? You can film whatever but way I, I you want, guys. I can't film that way. Yeah, I just... How does that make sense? I can look every direction, but look, not that one. I'm just trying to go by what they've told me. I'm going to go okay, check. They've uh, misinformed you, okay, so you might okay, want to go. I, I completely agree yep. with that. I'm going to go check, but I believe you guys to be right because mm -hmm. this is all public space. Yep. Don't want any kind of disagreement. Yep. And you actually came out on my sidewalk to tell me not nope. to film your private business, which is also on the sidewalk. So. Yeah, I'm not trying to argue, guys. I no, it's fine. You, but no next time, just don't come out making orders okay, in advance. I, I completely agree all with right. that. All right. Appreciate you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. They locked the customers in. Can I ask you guys a question? Yes. Why, why are you filming? Why, why not? Why, why are you Why are you out in just public? Cu just, just curious what you're filming okay. for. Why aren't you filming? Why would I be filming? Why not? Would you want to come in? Life's short. You got to film life as it happens. You're just, what are you, filming for TikTok? Is that what it is? TikTok? I don't even know what the hell I'm TikTok is. What's a TikTok? I'm a tourist from Dubai. I don't want to play tic-tac-toe, oh, but appreciate it. Okay. I'm a tourist from Dubai, so I want to see how people react to camera. Because in my country, you cannot take pictures of something just like that. So, we'll get arrested. So you're just interviewing people or just... No. No. You actually interrupted our photography. Yes. Yeah, to ask a question. Mm -hmm. I'm an investigative reporter. I do that. Oh, wow. Oh. Yes, that's All right. right. The funniest part about these audits is that the people act really weird, especially the store people, whether they're the owners or managers or like employees of the business. They act like they're in trouble and the Impact Media and his friend are like filming them to like expose them for whatever reason. It's really funny, I don't know, it's like they're just assuming they're guilty of something. So they come out and like try and ask them why they're filming and then after they like try and say, what are you filming us for? Can you stop filming? I don't know what's so bad about being filmed if you're a business. As long as you haven't done anything wrong, then why would you feel or act so guilty like this towards people filming? Most businesses should just look at them and be like, oh yeah, they're just taking photos or videos, they're tourists, whatever. But why would a company or the manager and owner then think to go and confront them when they're in public? It doesn't make much sense unless they're actually expecting like journalists to do hit pieces on them or people to like target their store. And anyway, filming it isn't targeting it, it's just you're allowed to do it, it's the First Amendment. <laughs> anyway, go subscribe to Impact Media, link in the description. Interrupting my video. David Scott was outside of a restaurant, exercising his First Amendment, freedom of press, constitutional right. Quite literally just in public, it's a plain view, public view. You guys have heard of the plain view doctrine. I wanted to react to this video by David. I'll leave a link down below to his channel. Please, everybody, go and subscribe to him. Show him some support and some love for his activism. He was really pressured in this particular activism that he was doing. Uh, the employees of this restaurant, to, in my opinion, were very uh, horrible towards him and also ignorant of the law. Now, in in quite, it's quite obvious that they probably don't know about the First Amendment. David tries to educate them, but they just try and tell him that he can't be filming, and they don't seem very happy with the fact that he is filming from his car. Again, this brings me back into my point in the last clip by Impact Media, where I think that they just assume guilt or something, like they're in trouble because someone's filming them and doing like a hit piece or journalism piece on them. I don't know, maybe they, maybe something's happened in the past week, I don't know. They're just acting so weird and guilty. Anyway, let's start with the reaction. Interrupting my video. I'm, what is your name please? Charlie. Charlie what? Are you just recording random people? Charlie what? Why would I, why do I What's your last person? name? Where, or do you work at this place you're, behind you're, you're, you, Nick the Greek? Do you work at this establishment, yes, I do. Nick the Greek? Is there yeah. Bullshit? Okay, go ahead and call the cops. I don't owe you any explanations, and I, I don't care you're about. Reporting random people walking by, and it's not okay. Yeah, it is. Oh, says who? Says the business I'm right here in front of. It's not okay. Well, they don't own the sidewalk. Okay. Well, I don't want to be recorded. Well, then get away from my camera. Okay, I'm gonna call someone. Then, call whoever you want. It's not illegal to record in can in public. People that don't want you recording no, it's not. Okay. You're stupid. Go back inside and go back to work. Tell you something. You can record as you want, but if that was another guy, they, she would take that camera and smash it right in her face. Right? Are you threatening me right now? Uh, Did you just threaten me on camera? I 
will tell you. Did that. you know that in this state it's illegal to threaten someone with violence? No, you just committed a crime, buddy. I, I don't understand why you would get a job working in public in a publicly accessible area in a restaurant that's busy, yet when someone films you with a phone or a camera, you get so triggered that you have to say horrible stuff to them like that. The male employee's reaction behavior was extremely unacceptable. I think that he was like passive aggressive. I think he felt triggered and upset that he was being filmed. Again, what the hell is going on here? Why on earth is he so annoyed and angry about someone filming with a phone? Unfortunately, it's 2024 and everyone has phones and cameras, so they can film you whenever they please, as long as it's obviously not in your house or a private area. If he's just on a street on the side parked up within public view, then what's wrong with him doing that? If you don't want to be filmed, that's nothing you can really do in this situation because you're confronting him. You can go back into the restaurant, do your job, and then you won't be filmed by him because you'll be hard to find, hard to see, and he's not going to follow you in because Dave is not going to do that. That would be considered borderline harassment. So I think that David handled the situation really well, even in the light of a potential threat, which was really unacceptable. And again, this guy just feels angry. I think that he's being filmed. Anyway, go subscribe to David's channel, link down below in the description to support his work. <laughs> Silence Boy was at the DMV and he was approached by security. He's here with another couple of auditors and they're just doing a First Amendment free press form of activism. The security guard approaches them trying to figure out what's going on. I assume they're going to try and say that they can't be there unless they're there to do business or actually, you know, use the facilities. So this is going to be interesting as to what they try and do here, whether they try and like call the police or trespass Silence Boy. I don't know. I haven't seen this. This is going to be a blind reaction, giving my opinions. I will leave a link down below to the original audit so you guys can go watch the full version. And of course, subscribe to Silence Boy if you haven't already. Let's get started. What are you guys doing here? This is what I'm doing. You heard that I had to move out of the way? Who is she to tell hey, me that? Dude, you don't have to be disrespectful, dude. How is that well, disrespectful? You're, you're, you're in an off. area where they're telling you you can't be, and then you're flicking me so off, who? and you have cameras. So and? Okay, so we'll call and? police if we you're have just a security, dude. Okay, I'm security. Call whoever you want. I don't care, dude. All right, neither do I. I don't care if you have I don't care if you're care security, Charlie, police, or something. I don't I'll care. I make people care for a living. So, who are you? Who are, who are you? you here? Who are you? Why are you here? Why are you here? I'm a security guard right here. Why are you here? Why are you here? That's screaming at me, fool. Why are you here? Stop screaming, guy. I'm trying to get lost out of me, fool. No, stop screaming. Get out of here, dog. Hey, Luis, can I have you at the vehicle inspection area, please? Where is he to tell you things on never? This security guard was extremely close to flipping out and losing it all. I think that he was very angry and triggered at these auditors. Maybe he thought there was a personal thing against him, which it clearly isn't. So why would you be so stupid as to think that? I don't know. You have to be able to control your anger if you are in security and law enforcement. This man was very close to, I think, lashing out in my opinion, judging by his body language and how he was talking to this other auditor here on the left. I don't think he liked being filmed, he didn't feel comfortable, and he tried to make it sound like they were doing something illegal, or at least that's probably what he thought. Now, I want to hear your opinions in the comment section. They're mine. I think the security guard, he just escalated and he, he he's allowed to ask what they're doing. But I think that's it. You know, calling people and stuff. Maybe he can get a better answer from his supervisor. To call the police in this situation might not be a good idea because they're an emergency line. And 911 shouldn't be used unless there's an emergency, which there isn't. <laughs> This has to be probably the most hilarious audit of today's reaction show. Up next, we have a video by the channel Full Court Press. I will leave a link down below to this channel so you guys can all go and subscribe, show him some support for his activism, go run his numbers up. Uh, where do we even start? This guy's just exercising his First Amendment free press constitutional right to film in public and publicly accessible areas. He is currently filming around or in and around a train station. 
Now, this officer here, who is law enforcement, is trying to tell him that he can't film trains because it's a security issue. What? I know, I don't... <laughs> I'm not going to ruin it for you guys. We're going to take a look at this video, jump straight in with some reactions and criticism throughout this clip. I don't know what's actually going on here because for a cop to say that, he would have to be pretty... Uh, how do I say this? Uneducated? Yeah, is that the polite way of putting it? Let's get started. Yeah. What was that reason? Uh, I'd rather not say. Alright, well, you can't film the infrastructure of the train station. You know oh, really? Yeah. What law is that? It's against the, the public safety. What public- a camera's against public safety? You can- no, you can't film the infrastructure of the train station. You can film- What, what law station. is that? I, What's your name and badge number? Can you identify for me? I, can, I don't want. Uh, my eyesight is not good. Officer White, 0707. All right, thank you. So, what's the issue? Filming a train station. You cannot film a train station. What? Like I'm asking system. you, what law is that? So, you're law enforcement officer, correct? I am. So, you enforce the law. I do. And you're telling me I can't film what I can clearly see from a public sidewalk. The infrastructure. I'm saying. And so I'm asking you, you, what law is that? So I saw you filming from here to there. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. No, you're not allowed to do that, right? It's a, you're a, still not safety, citing a law. It's a safety concern. A, whose safety? Public safety. Every member of the public here can see the infrastructure. Yes, I, I'm well aware of that, but right. you can also see people too, and you can't just go around and filming them, right? That would be harassment. Absolutely not. If they're outside in public? No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about like following them, right? Like you can you can see somebody and like walk behind them. I could walk anywhere. I could walk behind people, of I course. Know, so could you. So you follow people all day. <laughs> Police follow people all day. That's, Is that harassment? It depends. Some people feel harassed. Uh, well, feeling and intent are two different things, right? Very true. Right. Very so, true. what's the issue here? I'm just asking why. Like, I'm out in public. It's a beautiful day. I understand that. I'm filming, as is my right to do. But why? Well, why are you making contact? I'm, why are you making contact with me? Because I saw you filming, and I was just curious why you were filming. Well, you can, it's okay. Officer and it's the sure, thing. absolutely. Uh, you could be I'm curious. Sure. You can ask. Yeah. Um, I'm going to decline the answer. If you want to cite a law. An actual law mm -hmm. that prohibits me from filming the infrastructure here? I'm happy to hear it. That law doesn't exist. <laughs> it's hilarious. I don't know why on earth this officer has been able to come up with this in his mind. If full court press isn't able to get through to him being calm and respectful like he has done, how on earth will anyone will reason with this cop unless the supervisor, the only other you know thing i'd do in this situation would be request a supervisor which full court press might actually do because this isn't the full audit i'll leave a link to that in the description but overall i don't know why this officer thinks that it's okay to film certain parts of where they're stood but just not the infrastructure that doesn't make much sense to me and obviously that would be then claiming that perhaps it's uh full court press's plan to break in or do something like uh i don't know hurt people uh, that's a crazy statement to make and there's no reasonable articulable suspicion to suggest that I think the cops just pulling things out of thin air right now and he's just power flexing his badge this is unacceptable in my opinion and I think full court press handled him pretty decently Good guy activism was doing a First Amendment audit at the town clerk's office when he was chased up by police for being in the building exercising his First Amendment constitutional rights. Now, good guy was uh, actually in the building before this clip, before I, I show this, and he was doing a audit of the building and asking people questions. Then, from there, he went out into the parking lot and did some more recording of some of the uh trees and the clouds and the sky and the vehicles and the pavement etc or you guys call it sidewalk in most states and after all this he was actually confronted by cops and also employees of the clerk's office so i'm gonna give my reactions i will leave a link down below to good guy activism's channel if you aren't already subscribed go do that right now i know most of you already all are but yeah let's go and get started He has candy.
My worst nightmare is following me. Look. You can tell he's old school talking about he's my worst nightmare. That was cute. Oh, we got a firefighter. I'm not a fire, so he's not gonna fight me. Oh, he's gonna drive away. He's a town supervisor, again. I don't know who he's on the phone with, but he's most likely on the phone with the police. So right now I think that they think he's like a journalist for a company, which is where the confusion is. Even if they didn't think that, they'd probably still be annoyed with him and call the police anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But the guy's on the phone and he is trying to say that this auditor with a camera, well he doesn't even call him an auditor, he says this non-productive member of society or something like <laughs> that. Is that his attempt at insulting good guy? He then goes on to say that he is doing a journalist or hit or like story on them and that he is refusing to identify who he is. Well, I guess they just want to know who's doing the story on them so that they can then read it and like, you know, try and get it taken down or something. I don't know. Where else would they be asking that? Because clearly if they've got nothing to hide then it shouldn't be so much of an issue now i'm interested to see what happens when the cops arrive if they actually try and side with the employees of the building or if they just uphold the law and the first amendment of the constitution let's see you can get a supervisor schmidt town of Pauling. That's it, me. It took you a half an hour. I'm the guy with the name. You're the guy with no name, right? It took you 30 minutes. You're the guy with no name. Maybe if you was address the public. You're the guy with no name, right? More right. considerate, more polite, really? then the public will react to you more oh, politely. Oh, that's, that's nice. And, and what right. you're doing is polite, right? I'm minding my business. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? In the town, in the people's building. Yeah. Not your building. Common areas is what it is. It's common still, the what's you, the town you hall? Just, you just entered someone's office over there. Who funds the in, town in, hall? In, in, in the time of COVID, you just entered someone's office. It's, it's a public building. You didn't, you didn't stay in the common area. You went into someone's it's office. It's a public building, and went I went for business. Office. I still went, went for business. Went private office. To conduct business. Sure. Speak to the sheriff. How are you? I'm good. Can your name and badge number, please? Can I see your license and registration? For what? I want to see your license. Can I get your name and badge number, please? After I get your license, after you identify yourself, I'll identify myself. I'm not going to identify myself. You're not going to identify yourself? Yeah, because I didn't commit any crimes. Okay. What's your business here? For your request, budget. Sorry? A four year request in the budget. Okay. You yeah. got that? Not yet. I must go submit it right now. Okay. And it's also available in person because I just took a look at it. It's online. This is the town supervisor? Yes, sir. Extremely rude. Extremely rude. I feel bad. Sir, that building is public, right? There's no, there's nothing that says no entry. It doesn't say personnel. Only. Okay, what is your business here? I'm working on a story on okay, the town of Pauling. You no, know, where you gotta get? I'm trying to get your name and badge number because you approached me. Well, let you me make see your contact. License and I'll give you mine. Sir, it's your policy to identify no, yourself. No, it's not. It's you not. My so you just work for the public. Yeah. Nobody needs to know who you're, you are. You're supposed to identify yourself. I'm a private citizen. I don't have to identify but myself. I didn't commit a crime. Not yet. I'm, I don't commit crimes. Period. Okay. All right. So your business is done here? No, not yet. I just told you I gotta submit this for well, your let's, request. Let's get it done and we'll go. Is there a time limit on when I conduct my business? Is there? I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm gonna back up because you don't have a mask on. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm just asking a question. What's your question? Is there a time limit that I have to I conduct know. my business? I don't know. But you're obviously closer to the issue here. I'm not causing nothing. I'm walking around minding this my business. I'm not even talking. To, I'm not even talking to nobody, sir. 
I'm just working on a story on the town, let's see. What's the story? How our government officials treat the public. It is interesting. I would have thought you guys would be more nice and polite, you know, especially, sure, in, especially in such a, I don't have to identify, I don't owe you anything, sir. Sir, I don't owe you anything, period. I didn't stick my phone in your face. You came up, first of all, first of all, you approached me. So how did I stick my phone in your face? So you, I just want, I just want to ask you one question. Do you, do you, are you usually rude to the public? Or is it just today? I'm, I'm gonna walk around not identifying myself. I don't have to identify myself. You're actually, vehicles, you're actually not identifying yourself because you didn't. Inside town vehicles. I'm not gonna tell him, anyways. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Can I get your name and badge number? How are you? Hi, how are you? You're good, man. Can you do, tell him that? Do what you want to do. Can I get your name and badge number? When the first cop turned up, he tried to say the good guy needs to identify himself. I think this is a bit random and contradictory. It doesn't make much sense because if he is an independent journalist, and he is just exercising his First Amendment right, why would he need to identify himself unless he's committed a crime? Unless he's hurt someone, stolen something, or done something wrong? Now, the cops can try and say that they want to ID check him because they suspect him of committing a crime or being suspicious, but they need a reasonable suspicion to do that. And right now, they do not have that. I can't see them having reasonable suspicion of what good guy's doing because he is simply just filming and perhaps they could try and say he's got a mask on or his hood up, they could use reasons for his clothing etc. But to me these aren't really valid points. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Go subscribe to good guy activism. If you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and also leave a like on today's video to show your support. Thank you to all of you and I really hope you are well out there and doing okay.